Michael Lutz, tell me, why did we decide even to develop this product in the first place? Yeah, the driver of this uh, is the European NCAP Commission, who said that we need a driver monitoring system in every car in, the, in 2026. And uh, with, the, with the transition to the uh, software-defined vehicle uh, and the smartphone on wheels, the nice. OEMs were thinking about bringing new features to the car, which they, the people are used to from the smartphones. So they wanted to have also like a nice uh, human vision camera in the car. Okay. So we combining with this sensor, the two worlds, and can save costs. Okay, so we're talking about a mix of, you know, like driver monitoring, making sure people aren't, you know, getting tired and drowsy. Exactly. But also the kind of applications that maybe, uh, I don't know, Gen Z are, are using nowadays, like TikTok yeah, or... Exactly, exactly. Even Teams meeting. Exactly. So one person is yes. driving, the other person is having Teams meeting, and we can do all this stuff together in the car. So. Okay. You right. name it, exactly. Okay, the, the, this is the background. I yes. mean, we're at Electronica 2024. Uh, yes. It's all about software defined vehicles. So yes. I'm starting to, it's starting to come together for me now. Okay, so great. Okay, um, okay so this, though, this does sound to be very technical. When I'm thinking about all these applications working together at once, so what were the you know challenges that we had to overcome in order to even develop the product? Yeah, so first, first you have to know what is the background here. So a normal a camera for human vision, is uh, uh, handling RGMB, so red, blue, and green. Yeah. And you attach this to an ISP, which is specified for, for this application, and then you get a nice image. Yes, okay. Uh, with machine vision, uh, we are using active lighting because we want to be independent from this uh, uh, ambient light. Right, yeah. Okay. So we illuminate with near infrared light. Okay. Uh, this is um, uh, beneficial because we cannot see this, so the driver is not distracted by it. Yeah, okay. And um, also we can see to sunglasses. Okay. So, so we always have an, have an eye on the eyes of the driver. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, and, uh, but, but, but you can imagine that uh, uh, when you bring these two worlds together, uh, that the standard approach is not working anymore. So you have to have a specific, a specific additional hardware or you have a burden on the ECU co computation to do the separation of the two worlds. Right, okay, okay. Yes. Um, I, think, I think now it's going to be time to get a little bit technical, um, just to kind of understand what the key features really that we identified yes. as being critical, let's say, to yes. get this whole set of working. So, so yeah, tell us. As I said before, like the, the computation or the specific hardware uh, is, is a burden for the application. Yeah. So uh, we bring on this sensor the two, this, this, up, this processing on the sensor. Right, okay, yeah. So we separate RGB from NIR on the sensor yeah. and bring also additional other features on the, on the, with it uh, so that we have a smart upscale, right. which uh, is uh, increasing the resolution of the NIR yeah. from, uh, from the quarter resolution up to the full resolution depending on the ambient light. Okay, well. Then we have uh, uh, four presets, uh, like, like uh, we call that contexts. So we can uh, configure the sensor and then put it into a sequencer okay. uh, to, to run all the different uh, virtual cameras, which can be up to four. Okay, uh, yes. okay, so this is kind of key when we're thinking about these multiple applications running in parallel, I guess, right? Exactly, so you, yeah. want, you want to do that sequ uh, sequentially. So right. okay. you want to switch between human vision and machine vision from frame to frame. Okay, okay. And uh, so uh, these are now the, um, the advantages we, we have with the sensor on the NIR, okay. but we also bring advantages uh, for the human vision. So uh, we have a, a, another feature, um, which is uh, the, the switching from rolling shutter and global shutter okay. Okay. from frame to frame. Right. Okay. So um, rolling shutter um, is giving the benefit that we read out every line uh, directly after the exposure. So we have a low readout noise okay. and uh, we can achieve an HDR um, capability. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, for the NIR, we, right. we use the global shutter right. because we, we flash the scene and we want to expose the whole image at the same time. All the same time, okay. So, and we are actually the first and only one mm -hmm. who can do this kind of technology to bring in one sensor. 
So we're unique. We're unique now, let's say, uh, worldwide in this kind of a product. Yes, we are actually leading here. Leading? Yes. Ooh, I love hearing that. Okay, <laughs> fabulous. Yes. Um, so we are actually we are actually so good uh, with this that we bring this automotive sensor okay. to industrial and to consumer markets. And this right, is okay. a quite unique thing. And normally we, we derive the our, we derive the technology yeah. from the consumer and industrial to the automotive. This is the other way around now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but I know that there's something else in this product that is super interesting, right? Uh, yes. And it's a key enabler for that. So tell us yes. a bit more about that. Yes. So what we have here is ST, the, uh, the technology to do 3D stacking. Right. Yes. So 3D stacking, 3D stacking is um, that you put two dies on top of each other okay. and do with hybrid bonding uh, a, a connection of the dies on a molecular level. Wow, I mean, amazing, yes. So normal sensors, they have one die, mm -hmm. they have the pixel in the middle and then the logic around. Yeah. yeah. And, as the, and as the size of the imager defining the price, yes. uh, you don't want to make it too anyway. big. Yeah, you want to keep it as small as possible. Exactly. And yeah, keep, yeah. It, keep it small. Yeah. But when we put the logic below the pixels, we have suddenly a lot, of, a lot of space to do all the computation. Yeah, so all of that processing power that you were kind of detailing earlier, that's, that's where it goes, right? Exactly. So okay. without the 3D stack, we could not do this sensor. Exactly. All right. Okay. So yeah, as you were saying, a totally key enabler there. Yes. So that's the benefit that we, we have our own fabs yeah, exactly. and our own R&D. And we, ST is a, is yes. a technology company. Yeah, continuously in your innovating. Whether Exactly. And, and we, are, we, we don't want to bring another product what any other brings. So we want to bring added value yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, want to help the customers in their application. Yeah, okay. Yes. And in many different ways in, in this particular case as well. Yeah. Okay, so listen, without any further ado, I'd say probably people would love to hear a bit more about what's behind us here. Yeah. The actual demo itself. Yes. So will we, will we dig into that a bit? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's go. So yeah, so we, what we are seeing here is like with, uh, with our EVK, we are showing these two worlds okay. on, on uh, on one screen. Yes, so on okay. the left we have the machine vision, as you see, like yes. it's, uh, as you see here, my hand gets bright when I go near. It's it's ah, the active illumination we don't right. see. Can you just do that again one more time? If I see, yeah. Yes. Ah, that's okay. Yes, Much yes. more illuminated there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Exactly. And on the right side we see the HDR image. Yeah. Um, in in the human vision. And uh, what, 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 what we are seeing here is that the performance, or what we are showing here, is that the performance is. Uh, is, is working great yeah. uh, and uh, we can run so there's two applications in parallel. Yes, and we can very clearly see the two very charismatic people that we have in front of us. Let's. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. sorry, only joking. Only joking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fabulous. So, okay, it's a real, it's a real proof point. It's, uh, it's working. Yes. Uh, we can absolutely see 100% that it's here yes. now. Um, I guess some people might have this question. What is the maturity level? Uh, of the product today, are yes. we ready to roll it out? Or yeah, where are I have good that? news. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so we, we peep up the device just this summer. All oh, right. Okay. And uh, we go in mass production beginning beginning of next year. Okay. Very good. So in parallel, we we are already working on the first projects, and the and the first cars you will be seen with this image uh, end of next year on the road. Okay. So it's yes. here. And it's there. It's yes. People. Okay. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Okay, so, and I guess maybe just before we wrap things up, if somebody is watching this and they'd like to get their hands maybe on the product or do some kind of evaluation or prototyping, yes. uh, yeah, what should they do? Where should they so go? So yeah, we have our EVKs available, so you can yeah. contact me uh, or some of our team, okay. our sales team, or you go on sd.com and uh, find all the information there. Yes. Okay, brilliant. Listen, thank you very much, Luz. It's been great. Thank you, Sarah. You. Very interesting. Love hearing about all this innovation. Yes. Um, so, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much for uh, you, Sam. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, come and join us at Air 2024. Come and ask Luz many questions. Yes. He's here. He's ready. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.